ready to. Are you guys ready to hear what's going on today? Yes, you are. First up, we're gonna see just how well you know us when you get the chance to bet on your host. Yes! Yes. Plus, sound the alarm from the USA show Sirens, Kevin Daniels and Michael Mosley are here. I'm excited about that. And later, yeah, Tamara's belly may be popping. <laughs> we're the ones busting those pregnancy myths when we put our favorite mama to be to the test. Yay! Get on it. I think I got this. I do too. Mm -hmm. Well, what's up, girls? What's going on? You know what? I know other cultures around the world do pretty different things, and I respect that, but I have to tell you guys about this application from South Africa. It's okay. called the Lobola Calculator. <laughs> Not Ebola, Lobola. The difference. Right. So Lobola. And it calculates a woman's worth in cows. What you mean? Yeah, yes. well, see, okay, let me explain. Ew. Yeah, yeah, like, like that type of cow. Labola means a bride price or it's a dowry. Oh, a dowry. And it's, you know, in some cultures, that's the thing, you know? Still? And, yeah, still. And this application, it really is pretty cool because it can calculate a woman's, you know, worth in cows. So, okay. interesting. Well, I actually have a, a true story okay. about okay. a man uh, wanting my sister uh, Ooh, for, some cow. Cow, for some cows. Ooh. I swear to God, you guys, T and I, we went to Egypt. Uh huh. And uh, we, we, were, we saw the pyramids. And as we were walking to our bus, there was this guy, and I didn't know anything about you know, the cows and stuff, but a guy, he just wanted my sister. Uh -huh. I know we're twins, but there was something about Tia that you he wanted. You have the same DNA, so you'd be worth the same amount. I, right. Okay, I guess, but he was like, he was like, I buy, I, I, I would, I would buy two cows, two cows for you, two cows, and I'm like, uh, two cows. But wow. this was like, like two thousand. So I don't oh, know. Oh, that's yes. why you got to count for inflation. Yes, that was like fifteen years ago. So you about to hurt now too, like. May, maybe, but I've always wanted to know how, how, how much does two cows? How much is that worth? Well, it depends on, you know, the, the country and, and, and the cow and stuff. And uh -huh. I, I mean, I was thinking about this. And I'm like, I don't know about cows, but I know in the hood, I gotta be worth at least two pit bulls and a chihuahua. You know what? You know, I, I... Well, listen, Wait. friends, actually, the producer yes. tallied up how many okay. cows uh -huh. actually, were actually worth. They calculated it oh, all. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, yes, oh. yes. Wait, for real? So, to make this clear, they've calculated how much... Using the app. Yeah, because I think the app asks questions like, how big is your waist? Like, how pretty would you say you are? How attractive are you? So there's no what your height to is, which I'm totally failing in the height area. Okay. And, and stuff like that. Education. Education. They want to know education. How, how educated okay, you I, are. I got one up on there. So all with right. all of those things included, all right, producers. Okay. How, how much is you Adrian? Tell us this. How much is Adrian? And how much? Is <laughs> oh, no, that's not bad. You six cows. Oh, no, I thought I was $1, dollars. That's good. Yeah, because Tia was worth two 15 years ago. Well, let's see how much you worth, G. Okay, okay. Let's see. I did bad. <laughs> <laughs> Only three cows. Three, cows. <laughs> <laughs> three is good. It's hard taking but care I... of three heifers. You know? <laughs> that's... It is. <laughs> no, that's... No, seriously, though, I'm going to be real about myself. Like, I, I, think, I think having children and, cook and being a pro cook is yeah. something that's like, right. you know, that like wifey thing that men want. Okay, what's mine? Let me, let me see what mine's. Oh! Hey. oh. Miss Lonnie Love! You are, you are a queen! Miss Lonnie Love! She is worth well, eight I'm worth cows. eight cows. You know, when I meet a guy, that's gonna be my pickup line now. You know I'm worth eight cows. <laughs> That's right. What are you going? What are you going? You are worth five thousand four hundred and ninety-four dollars and ten cents. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Wow. Yeah, wow. That's that college in there. That's what that yeah, is. That's the, the engineer. Cool. Yeah, the engineer. I that engineered up my four cows. Yeah, I'm worth the used car. Okay, I, I could take that. Okay, that. what about Tamara? Okay, how much am I worth? Oh, oh that's good. Okay, yeah, fine. You, I don't agree with that, friend. You don't have your masters. That's what it is. You, you know. All right, Tam, what's your coin? My coin is $3,340, and I'm worth five cows. Five cows. That's, five that's cows. good. Oh, this is okay. the one. I'm 
dying to know how many <laughs> cows. See, look, yeah. Tia was only worth two. Tia! <laughs> Did you only worth $835? I believe that. Your Hold shoes up. worth more than that, okay? You, you know, you. I, let me one. tell you something. Ray Charles can see that's a lie. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. I, everybody tell know him, I tell cost him. more than 835 coins. Get your life and one cow. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to share our bowl of cereal lot. <laughs> but you know what that would mean? That would mean that a lot of men would be after you. You understand that? Because they only have to. <laughs> no. <laughs> Lonnie, you good. were fishing. I, I, I don't like this game. I, me neither. I, why are you looking like that, Adrian? I'm just so confused. Me too. So am I, I. really love apps. Like, I love technology. Like, especially the ones that now work for, you know, long-distance relationships like my own. I even heard about an actual awesome product called, you guys ready for this? What? Mm -hmm. It is called the Freble, and it actually simulates hand-holding. Oh. So, so that one app was whack. That's how you feel about it, right? But this one is phenomenal. Not only can you have Skype now, FaceTime, now you can actually hold your man's hand virtually? from across the country virtually. Well, not really virtually. It actually is. Look at that. It's a real thing, and every time I squeeze it, he can feel it. Uh, I, I, I won't play that game either. Wait a minute, that don't sound right. That do not sound pause, right. Pause, 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 pause. Pause. Every time you squeeze it, he can feel it. Every that... time I squeeze the device with my hand, it feels as if I'm squeezing his hand. Oh, oh okay. You need okay. a clarification. The subject there of squeezing. Okay, you know. So do you see it? So imagine if I had one. Imagine if even Aiden had this. If you went away for a little bit and he got older, and he's like, "This is like holding my mommy's hand." And uh -huh. every time you squeezed it, he could feel it from across the country. God no. Yeah. I appreciate the thought, but there's nothing like feeling the actual, like my love language is like touch. Mm -hmm. right. so there's nothing like hearing, you know, my man's voice right. and feeling his actual hand. I would rather wait yeah. where it builds up and then finally when you see him, it's like, oh. I think yeah, that's a that build real. No, yeah. It's a little machine. But Build I think it's a good app. Thing. Think about, you know, like our troops, you know, that's overseas. Wow. And that's give it to yeah. them and then, you know, they can feel the touch of their yeah. loved one. You know, I think it's some, sometimes technology is, is for good. Like what you yeah. need. That's, that's a good, good idea. To sleep, I think it's cute. For Tam, time Tam you, you, get, you get in the hand, you, you, you get in that. No, she <laughs> has her man in the bed if with you her. Didn't, if exactly. you didn't, Tam, you, you, you get in that? No, no, no I'm not going to get that. that over here. But however, I do appreciate that we have amazing technology now. Yeah. Right. It was Aiden's first day of school today, uh -huh. and I oh. wasn't able to physically be there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But Adam um, took off work, and he FaceTimed me. So oh. I got to see Aiden, you know, awesome. experience his That's first day cute. of school. So I can yeah. kind of relate to right. that. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But some you of y'all Logan. Some of Logan has his own phone. But some of y'all use the FaceTime too much. I was at the movie theater and uh -oh. they was up there FaceTiming each other looking at the movies together. What? Seriously. I was That's like, like the new bootleg. Yeah. yeah. That, no, but no, this person, they were like, it was one person and it was another person because I was sitting behind them. Yeah. And he kept holding up the, the screen. And I was like, excuse me, what you doing? I FaceTime. I'm like, what? And so they were looking at the movie together. Wait, I'm not gonna okay. lie, that's actually really funny. If someone oh couldn't come to the movie theater and you're like, oh, you back home, you wanna watch the movie with me and you just sit like this through the whole movie? That's anyway, right. you give her ideas. Okay, you guys, well, if you think that's crazy, check this out. So according to The Telegraph, mm -hmm. a restaurant in China is giving out free meals, free meals to 50 people each day based solely on their looks. Oh, God. If they deem you hot enough, you get a free meal. Is this the craziest gimmick you've ever heard of? That is yes, insane. That's rude. Yeah, but who is this based upon now? Whose opinion? Just the restaurant's opinion. Well, I wouldn't have the a problem getting there. a free meal. I get a couple of them, I think. You know, I think all you ladies would I, have a problem. I will have to so. say, I will have to say, every single person in my family and people, there are people watching our shows online internationally. Yeah. They think you guys are freaking hot. So you guys would all get a buffet of free meals. Okay. I'm pretty sure. And well, I work eight cows, so I know I can get a free meal. 
Okay, so. Girlfriend. No, let, let me tell you what's wrong with this, okay? Yeah. I think it's a setup. You think oh, it's a really? setup? Yes, I think it's a setup. They trying to get all the cute people to gain some weight. <laughs> if you're beautiful in the face, now you're gonna be a little overweight because they're gonna keep giving us free meals. What do you talk about overweight? What you, what you, what you, you we like to be health conscious. If I knew, now I don't know if you guys know this about me, but if there's ever a free meal, I'm eating it. Me too. I don't care what diet I'm on, carb free. If I'm in first class and they're passing, I could be sick to my stomach <laughs> full. They come with that ice cream cart. I'm saying yes, please, and add everything you can to it. Why? Because. It's, it's free. free. But you guys, imagine the person who's sitting there hoping to get like a free meal. Oh. And then they realize that they don't. That's not cool. Oh, you know, what I think, think it encourages. You cute, though? That's what and I'm you saying. Don't what if you they think, don't think you cute? I know, then that just makes people just... like, you know, their self-esteem like drops. I mean, it's not, I don't I don't think that's cool and at all. Couple some money no, it's just couple some money here. No, but seriously. Well, Tam, I already know that they're not gonna pick me because I'm only worth one cow. So. Oh, stop it. No. no, but I gotta I think bring that's, my credit that's a good card. point to say this. <laughs> a good point to, to bring up is that internationally, beauty is very different. Yeah, Things huh? that are beautiful in Africa exactly. are not deemed as beautiful mm -hmm. here in the US, are not deemed as beautiful it's in not? China. No, no. no. See, when I it has South nothing Africa, to do with weight. They either. thought I was a princess. They loved to be in yeah. South Africa. I had all the men that was like, come here, Lani, come here. Yeah. 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 You guys yeah, are going was... in China, honestly, in China, they look at me and they're like, tuda, tuda. They think my skin is too dark. They're like, they, they think they that I should be the taller. Bleaching. They're like, mm -hmm. you need to be taller. There's different things. So, I mean, it really comes down to, at the, at the end of the day, what do you think is beautiful? Exactly. And you buy yourself that own meal, because you deserve exactly. it. Exactly, because yeah. they thought yeah. I was Oprah Winfrey over in South Africa. Oh, my gosh. I put on this Oprah hair and this Oprah dress. Yes. I'm Oprah. Hello, South Africa. <laughs> You know we love games here at The Real, and we know you do too, especially when we give you guys a chance to win real cash money playing them. Today, we're doing just that when we let you bet on us for a chance to win some money in a game we call You Bet Your Host. works. We have Tamar and Adrian in the audience ready to find people to play. We're going to show a clip from one of us being asked a question and it's up to you to guess whether or not we knew the correct answer. Best part is if you guess right you win $50 cash on the spot. Yes! But if you're wrong you still win because you're going home with this beautiful t-shirt from The Real. Yes! Are you ready? Adrian, who do you have out there? All right, Brittany Holtz, where are you at? Oh, right here. Come on out here, girl. Hey. All right, now, girl, what would you do with an extra $50 today? I'm probably going to go shopping. All right, then. Oh. All right, let's see who's up first. Play the clip. What is the national average price of a gallon of gas? <laughs> OK, by that facial expression, Brittany, do you think Tamara knew the answer to that? Now you guys can help her out. No! Do you no! think she knew the right answer? No! She's a mom, so I think she's on the go a lot. So I'm gonna say she does know the answer. All right, okay. time's up. Let's see what it's gonna be. Did Tamara know the answer? I always drive by the gas station and I see like three dollars. Oh, so sorry, girl. She did I'm not know the right answer. You don't get the $50, but you're still going home with this styling t-shirt from The Real. Yeah. Thanks for playing. There you go. Thank you, girl. Sorry. Tamar, who's next? All right, punk and schmuckers, we got Delorean Campbell. Where you at? Come on over here and play You Bet Your Host. Now, what would you do with your extra $50? Get some shoes, ah. I'm sure. Okay, let's see who got our next question. Play the clip. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from blank. Oh, my God. <laughs> do you think she knew the answer to that? Yeah. I don't. All right, let's see if Adrian right, knows then. who the Statue of Liberty was a gift from. Roll the clip. I wanted to say Christopher Columbus, but I'm not that dumb. It's from somebody in France. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. You get from I know. Me. I know. You know. You're not losing. You get to have the real t shirt. Yes. They didn't have no faith in you, Munchkin. Who do you have 
next. All right, Ricky Smith, where are you at? Oh, hey, are you ready to play Bet Your Home? Yes! All right, now if you win these $50, what do you plan on doing with it? Girl, eat. <laughs> I'm all about that life. I like the good that. Win okay, it, so girl. let's see who's answering your question today. Play the clip. How much is a first class postage stamp? Okay. <laughs> Ricky, oh do you think Jeannie knew the answer? No! Yes! 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 Ricky, no! so do you think Jeannie knows the answer? No. I'm sorry, Jeannie. Let's see if Jeannie knows the price of a first class postage stamp. Roll the clip. 39 cents was the last time I checked, so it's been a minute. I think we have now gone up to 42 cents. Is that right? Ciao. She got it wrong! You win! $50. Oh my God. Thank you for playing! Tamar, who is next? Yes! Megan Lafayette, where you at, girl? Yes! Yes, come over here and play. You bet your hope. Come on, this side pocket now. You know this bunny is burnting my hands. I'm ready for you to win, girl. Where you from? Pasadena, California. Yes! Yes, yes! Do you feel like you're gonna go home with this extra 50, 50 bucks? I am. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay, time to see who's up next. Play the clip. What color is amethyst? Do you think Miss Lonnie knew the answer to that? Yeah. You guys help her, please. Yeah. Go with your gut, girl. Go with your gut. Yes. Okay, final answer? Yes. 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 All right, let's just see if Lonnie knows what the color amethyst is. The heck if I know. <laughs> Bet your host. I am. All right. Can you feel the 50 already in your hand? I hope so. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see who's got our last question of the day. What sport celebrates March Madness? By that face, do you think that Tamar knows what sport is celebrated in March Madness? Yeah. How could you say yes? And if not, you better get your that. life. <laughs> I love it. All right. She has faith in you. Let's see if Tamar knows what sport celebrates March Madness. Roll the clip. March Madness is basketball. Yeah. 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 Our next guests find the funny in some of the toughest situations. Today, they're here to sound the alarm on USA's newest hit comedy, Sirens. Please welcome first responders, Michael Mosley and Kevin Daniels. Woo! Okay, you yeah. must go over and spin the heel, oh, my God. Yeah. Yes. Right, right. Yeah, go. Oh. Yes. Come on. 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 Oh, I'm in no, tell us. Yeah. I want to hear this. Okay, okay, guys. What, what was one. the last lie y'all told? You trying to put us on blast? Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Interesting way to start things. No yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know the same word. Right there. I don't lie. A couple weeks ago, we had our season premiere, mm -hmm. and Mike decided he was going to cook for us. Uh -oh. Mike made some chili. And you know, I might have told Mike that it was good what chili. What are you talking about? Oh, no. You're calling out my chili right now in front of all these good people? <laughs> it's good chili. That might have been the last Gosh, it's like this. <laughs> it starts out like this. So, Mike, what's yeah. the last lie you told? Uh, well, I told uh, Daniels those shoes look good earlier today. Oh, shoes oh, 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 you show him all the shade. I enjoy <laughs> that. <laughs> All right, now, Kevin, I know you two are partners and best friends on Siren. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, but I'm getting the vibe you two are, like, besties in real life. <laughs> yeah. So how did you guys realize that y'all was, like, bros for life? Uh, you know, we, we, were, we were in Chicago, we were shooting, and we went to the... Uh, 
contemporary uh, Chicago music. Art Institute. Yes, the Chicago Art Institute. Yeah. They had this piano and it was like, I don't know, from like the 1800s and they had this yeah. little thin red line in front of it. And of course there was a sign that says, do not touch, yeah, do, do not, not cross. cross the line. Do not cross the and line. And we sitting there, we're looking at each other. Yeah. And we're just like, why? Like, why can't you cross the, you know? Yeah. Like, now, I was mean? being a good, good Christian soldier, and I was like, well, I'm not yeah. going to cross the line. Yeah. Yeah. This right. one, this one. I was one. like, Danny, cross the line. What oh, no. Touch the piano. No, I'm not touching the piano. Crazy. I'm not touching the piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the job. And of course, yeah. we walk over the line, all of a sudden, <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Oh, oh, no. No. Yeah. 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 And then so we, we knew this thing, we were going to be friends. Partners in crime. That was That's it. great. Oh, I love that. You know, Kevin, we've seen you on Modern Family and Mike. We've seen you on the hit show Scrubs. Yeah. And I know both of you started in dramatic theater. But Mike, <laughs> what inspired you to switch to comedy? You know, I don't know. I just always liked comedies, you know, growing up. And, you know, I remember, you know, coming home from, like, uh, you know, rehearsal for Fiddler on the Roof in ninth grade and, uh, you know, seeing uh, uh, Teen Wolf on TV <laughs> yeah. and seeing this guy, oh, wow, the, dude. this hairy dude, do, you know, jumping off of trampolines and, and I was like, that's wait, but let's, I wanna, yeah, I wanna do something funny. You saw Teen Wolf and you wanted to be a comedic actor? Yeah. See, I saw Teen Wolf and I wanted a haircut. <laughs> 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 oh, no, that's cool, no, that's cool, I like that. See, I was like that. watching like Fresh Prince of, you know, uh, Bel Air and I was like, I wanna do what Will Smith is doing. I was like, I wanna do exactly. that. Exactly. I can yes. clearly see that you're a really funny guy. But I don't know, I draw the line when it comes to pranks. Right. Especially tattoo pranks. Oh, yeah. oh Lord. <laughs> So I just want Mike to explain why you had Kevin's face on your no, arm. No, no, no. no. <laughs> he had my face on his arm. Oh, it's on your back. See, look at this. Y'all see that? Those that, aren't that's, real. That's all the part of yeah. the crime, Kevin Bigley. No, I, get, I, I come to set, and, and the DP, it was his last day, and, and he goes, hey, Mike. He's like, hey, come over here. And he's like, I just want to tell you, you know, I, I think this show's really great. I think it's going to go for a long time, and I just, I'm such a big fan. Meanwhile, the entire cast, crew, production, everybody's yeah. on set. Then I look around, Watch, yeah, every single face. person is there, and he rolls up his sleeve, and he's got a tattoo of my face on his arm. And I look around, and everybody's got this tattoo on their, on their necks, on their heads, oh, on their everywhere. Their necks? Okay. Yes. Oh, my. God. Yeah, it's like it was like a Twilight Zone. Episode. It was kind of fantastic. Uh, it was kind of fantastic. What? Fit well, yeah. clearly, Sirens is making a huge splash as USA's first half hour original comedy series. Congratulations. Yeah. You guys, what do you think is the driving force behind all the success? Oh my God. Yeah, I think that these guys are uh, like fun people to hang out with, you know? Well, him, eh. But, uh, <laughs> but like, uh, you know, uh, the, you know uh, the, they're just fun people to hang yeah, out with. Yeah, you just get to like yeah. see behind the, the veil of what the first responders do. Mm, you get right. to see the human side. Yeah. It's written by Dennis Leary and Bob Fisher. Yeah. Yeah. Bob Fisher wrote The Wedding Crashers, right? Right, right. Yeah. Oh, tell you, hilarious. This, it's a funny, funny show. Yeah. And like you, and it's just kind of like it defies stereotypes. It kind of like, people were looking around, you're like, oh, I didn't expect that to be funny. It looked corny, but it's really great. People found it, okay. and now like season two is out. It's really been, it's really exciting. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Now in emergencies, EMTs must transport patients to the hospital quickly and what? Safe Safely. Yeah. So we're gonna split into two teams and do just that. Each team will have a small gurney, see it's our little gurney right here, and a carton of very special patients that they have to transport to the hospital. Now you can only bring one egg patient at a time, and if a patient <laughs> drops in route, Ooh, the yolk's on you. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah. I, see what you did there. Exactly. I see what you did there. So the first unit to safely deliver six patients wins. Let's play Excellent EMT. Right. So I'll be waiting right at the hospital to check in patients. EMTs, the first team to get six patients checked in to the one hospital wins. Ready, set, go. Oh, But it's not you, okay? <laughs> if there's one thing this dork taught me, it's that there are a lot of pregnancy myths out there. Yeah. Well, we're swooping in to set the record straight. The girls are asking me a few questions to test my knowledge 
when it comes to being pregnant. And if you hadn't noticed, I'm kind of an expert. So I'm ready to do some pregnancy myth busting. Yeah. Okay, I'm excited about this, Tam, because you look like you're always pregnant all the time. Okay. <laughs> All right, a girl loves to keep those roots in check. I know I have to. So it's absolutely acceptable for pregnant women to dye their hair. Now, Tamara, yes. true or false? It's actually true, Tamar. <laughs> yo, what's that, yo, what? Yes. Research says you can dye your hair because the chemicals from the dye are only absorbed by the skin in very small amounts. Oh. They don't travel to the baby, so it's not harmful. If you are feeling like a little skeptical, they uh -huh. always say you can use just like uh, plant-based dye, hemp dye, or just do it in your second trimester. Oh. If the baby isn't as vulnerable in the second trimester. Oh, See, I did not know that. Uh -huh. Well, get yeah. you a color stick, yes. <laughs> very good. Good to know. Uh -huh. That's my friend. Okay, it's my turn. Okay. I got a question. You guessed it, it's about alcohol. <laughs> okay. Ah. True or false, drinking dark beer will help you produce milk. Ooh. Okay. True or false? Hey, I, yeah, I say true. True. <laughs> no! What? No, honey. I heard, drinking no. beer. No, drinking dark beer or dark alcohol is not a good idea when you're pregnant. It does not help you produce milk. It's more for Auntie Lonnie, though. No, you cannot I guess that's what it. Said. Lonnie. I heard it was beer in, in oatmeal. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> okay. My turn. Okay, focus, Tamara. Okay, I got this. I've got a very important topic for you. Yes. Food. True or false, when you're pregnant, there's no such thing as eating for two. That's kind of like a trick question. A lot of people think you should eat a lot more, but not necessarily. You should only eat on an average like 300 calories and mostly during the last trimester. So I'm going to say true. <laughs> Listen to this answer. She got it just right, you guys. Just because you have all the craving doesn't mean that you can eat for two mm -hmm. because doctors say you should only be eating a fifth more of your diet. The average woman should only gain 25 to 35 pounds during pregnancy. Nice. Yes, and I gain more than that. I allow myself to have a little bit more fun because I'm like, hey, I can have bread. Why not? This is the time to do it, right? Well, who's okay. that? This is the time to do it. Sit down. Eat away, girl, eat away. That's what I say. Okay, but Lottery. this myth's a little fishy. Okay, as you can see right here. Okay. True or false, pregnant mommy should stay away from seafood. You can have seafood, but only a certain amount, and there are only a couple of fish that you can't have, so I'm gonna say You can't have seafood. You can false. False. <laughs> yeah, she's right. right, she's yeah. right. Yes, it's actually healthy to have at least two servings of fish a week. Ah. Omega-3s help with brain and vision development for babies. Just stay away from raw fish and fish with high mercury. Mm. Yeah. You know that. See, I didn't do that bad, right? You didn't do that bad?